Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Jen um, with Hall the Hallway and um, I'm glad that you decided to join me today. Again, um, today's just going to be an update video. It's been like a month since I've, I've uploaded a video. Um, I keep putting it off. I'm not sure why. I think it's just one of those things where you know, oh, after this doctor's appointment, I'll update him about the baby. Or after we do this, I'll update him about this. Whatever. Um, we've had lots of festive things going on. You know, Christmas is right around the corner. We had Thanksgiving since the last time I've um, recorded. We've had doctor's appointments and things like that. Um, I will update um, right now. Um, baby boy is doing excellent. He's actually a little past where I'm, he's measuring a little bigger than where I'm at, which doesn't usually happen for me, so I'm not sure what's up with that, or maybe we actually got a, a decent um, due date this time, but um, I think, you know, with Christmas parties that we've gone to and different things like that, and then we've... Um, and before that we had Thanksgiving, so we've just had a lot going on and after our last chiropractor appointment, I wanted to update and just say that we are all, all the kids are still doing excellent, um, nothing that he really had to do, it's just all maintenance, which is great. I can, I can um, say that I'm really happy that I go to a chiropractor for this pregnancy. The um, other pregnancies I've had, I've never gone to a chiropractor throughout the pregnancy, and I do feel a little, I do f see the difference between having a chiropractor and not having a chiropractor, so that's awesome. Um, it's already about halfway, more than halfway through the month, so the only other big thing that I can really say that's coming up, obviously Christmas, um, and we're actually doing Christmas a little different this year. My husband's hours are really a little crazy, and especially around the holidays and stuff, it's really crazy for me because I'm used to him being here on Christmas morning. He's really not going to be um, going in. He's going in early-ish, pretty early, so for a Christmas Eve, I, I, I mean for Christmas, I actually on Christmas like to have my kids stay upstairs until at least seven and then after that they can come down well if I did that their dad would be pretty much getting ready to leave and so we'd have to rush everything and it just it doesn't make any sense to do that and even if we got up early then he wasn't gonna be here throughout the day so um, I am gonna have the girls write letters and then Santa will know to come we're hoping to, to do Christmas on the day after Christmas. And actually, it's going to be in the evening, which is going to be strange, too, because, you know, you're used to waking up and going down and seeing the Christmas tree. Theirs is going to be basically, we're going to have, you know, Christmas is going to be in our room, and then we will bring it down the 26th, the evening. The good thing about it is, yes, my husband will be here, but the older kids will be here, their significant others will be here, everybody's hopefully going to be able to make that day, which we know as they get older, it's harder and harder to get everybody together all on the same day, but if I can at least get them all there for dinner, which I'm going to make Christmas dinner on that day, um, then it won't be, I'll at least be okay with that, but I think we're going to do gifts and everything that day too, and um, that way everything's done all in one day. It's only the day after. So hopefully, <laughs> yes, you can hear kids because I've got kids. Um, but anyways, I think other than that, I wanted to wish everybody Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy birthday to Jesus. Um, I, obviously there's, you know, a lot more I could go into with that because, our world has really commercialized Christmas, so it's not it's not what it should be. So we try to do what we can in our house um, 
to make sure that we are putting Jesus as the center of this celebration. Also, have a wonderful New Year's. I'm really hoping the new year brings on a little more consistency with me. When it comes to making these videos, pray for me. I really do need prayer because consistency is a really big thing that I'm lacking, especially on this YouTube channel. And I really do want to get more consistent. I want to do, you know, cook with me's and clean with me's and more um, grocery hauls and, you know, homeschool videos. And homesteading is kind of somewhat on the on the freeze in a way because it's getting ready to freeze. <laughs> But, you know, even if it's just chicken videos or um, herb videos or whatever the case may be, you know, things that we do here, whether it be food preservation or whatever, I really want to um, share those things with you so that maybe someone can uh, learn something from my channel. And honestly, comment down below. The more comments I get, it's exciting to get comments. It's exciting to get likes. Um, and, and it's motivational, you know, it, it motivates me to keep going and continue to make more videos. So, <laughs> you know, um, so go back, look at my old videos, comment, like, whatever you want to do. Um, like this one, subscribe, because again, I'm not super consistent, so it'll pop up on your notifications. Other than that, be blessed. Love you all. Praise God. Thanks.